Sinclair Deering. I'm extremely passionate about the dinosaurs and about our responsibility to take care of them. There isn't a more iconic dinosaur than the T-Rex. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you see her up close, feel her gaze, you understand why the T-Rex was the ruler of the Cretaceous period. Hey, I've heard a lot about you. So here's a little about me. I'm Isaac Clement, but just call me Isaac. No need for formalities. Besides, in the park, we've got to watch each other's backs. Now, people think we're in the dinosaur game, but the truth is, we're entertainers, and our headliners traveled 65 million years to make this show. So let's make it a good one. Personally, I don't think the Troodon gets as much respect as it should. It's one of those dinosaurs that seems like an evolutionary bridge, stuck in time and transition. The platypus of its day. And now, ours. It's also incredibly interesting to study and display, so make the most of this animal. While the parks have become famous for dinosaurs, it's not quite the way we'd want. Hopefully, working together, we can change that. Sorry, I meant to introduce myself. George Lambert, security specialist. Our challenges are many. Let's not waste any time. This dinosaur has a skull similar to a crocodile's, and a disposition that isn't that far off either. The Sukumimus originally fed on fish and small prey. Let's make sure it doesn't expand its diet into two-legged animals wearing collector t-shirts. I'm Owen, a specialist in dinosaur behavior. I've formed a unique bond with the raptors. Now, don't be jealous. Everyone knows I have a soft spot for this dinosaur, the Velociraptor. And they get a bad rap as far as I'm concerned. But if you imprint early enough, you can make real connections with them. Other than Claire, raptors are the most intelligent partners I've ever had. And like her, they could kill me in the blink of an eye. <laughs> that's a that's a joke. And even I have to admit that this next dinosaur is impressive. The Spinosaurus is perhaps the of course, I'll never get close enough to one to see for myself, but <laughs> that's why I have you. What can be said about the Triceratops? This is one of those dinosaurs that really defines our business. People want to see them, and we want to share them with the world. Don't let that fearsome appearance fool you. Those horns are most important and impressing other Triceratops. This animal is an urgent, a star attraction, or a security nightmare if it turns those horns on our fencing. Interesting. And at Montosaurus. This is an herbivore that can move on all four feet. Go upright and walk on its hindquarters. You should be able to control and monitor this species more easily than some of the others. Use that to your advantage as you plan out the park. Dr. Kajal Dua. I'd ask what brings you here, but I'm not sure I'd get an answer. <laughs> Some of these animals present a real test of our abilities. Take, for instance, this latest dinosaur, the Gallivinus. It's an opportunistic omnivore that does best in groups. That alone isn't the problem. But the speed. Gallimimus is incredibly fast, which presents special challenges for the ranger teams tasked with monitoring them. There was a lot of controversy about dinosaurs being the ancestors of modern-day birds before this one was introduced into the park. It's an Archaeornithomimus. I think it puts some of those arguments to rest. 
There is an ironically tragic quality to seeing a dinosaur that has been brought back from the dead die. But death has unfortunately come for one of our animals. Clear the carcass from the enclosure before it can spread disease. I'm Dr. Henry Wu. I'm a scientist. Some might call me an artist, a sculptor. My sculptures are living, breathing dinosaurs. You know, this animal's primary habitat was the ancient primordial forest that once covered this planet. It's called Dryosaurus. Before our research, there was no information on adult specimens of this dinosaur. We only had the fossilized record of juveniles. But now, that's all changed. This bipedal predator is called the Acrocanthosaurus. And it is a dinosaur that has what I like to refer to as presence. When it's around, you know it. This animal should make for a killer exhibit. I mean, it being a killer and all. <laughs> this dinosaur, the Corythosaurus, is a duck-billed animal that looks like it's wearing a helmet. I mean, check that thing out. I wouldn't want to butt heads with it. Collecting asset. Asset to be collected. This flat-headed dinosaur, the Homolocephaly, can appear unassuming and perhaps even cute to some. But let's also stay on top of the science. We can learn a lot from a little. Okay, this is amazing, a baryonyx. These animals have very large claws on their first digit. This dinosaur also likes water, so take a moment to consider its needs when planning out a suitable habitat for it. The baryonyx was originally thought to be a scavenger, but now, with live animals to study, we can find out for sure. Nice, a Carnotaurus. You could recognize this predator immediately by the horns on its head, which give it a real rock and roll appearance. Those powerful legs can get this dinosaur moving as well, so probably best to stay out of its way. This dinosaur is so metal. Task received. Request acknowledged. This dinosaur is large, bulky, and has a stubborn disposition. It's called the Iguanodon. It's an herbivore with attitude. I'd suggest giving it a wide berth. Transportation underway. This is the Albertosaurus, so named because it was first discovered in the Canadian province of Alberta. This animal is a smart predator that relies on its rows of sharp teeth. They exhibit pack behavior, which is very exciting to witness, as long as you're doing so from a safe distance. This dinosaur is one of the earliest known animals dating back to perhaps 216 million years ago. It's called Coelophysis. Their remains can be found scattered across the globe. But if people want to see a Coelophysis up close, this is the only place to do it. I call it an armored ball of walking, breathing trouble. Still, some might call it charming, amusing, delightful. <laughs> Each to their own. Now, here's a funny little dinosaur. Actually, a pretty decent sized one, if the truth be told. It's called a Cintosaurus. The T is silent. Like the P in swimming? <laughs> and it has a mohawk. At least, that's what I'd call it. Setting additional task. Every dinosaur that's recreated is important, but some also capture our imaginations. The Allosaurus is one such animal. It is believed that in its original environment, it was squarely at the top of the food chain. I'm interested to discover if that's true, given the opportunity. This dinosaur is important for a number of reasons. I mean, they're all important, but this one, the Deinonychus, was the center of debate among paleontologists for many years. Specifically, were the dinosaurs cold-blooded or warm-blooded animals? With them alive and in the park, we have our answer. Commencing asset transit. 
Now this dinosaur is something special. Well, they're all something special, but this one stands out because of the horns on top of its head. It's called Ceratosaurus. It kind of looks like a slightly smaller T-Rex, but its bite is probably about the same. The Indoraptor. This is a dinosaur created with a purpose. It can even see in the dark and uses echolocation to find its prey. Now, nature might eventually have created the Indoraptor, but I got there first. Is it dangerous? Yes. But then so is science. Adding to the list. Understood. First discovered in China, the Chunkingosaurus has distinctive twin plates that run along its back. And it can swing its spiked tail, called a thagomizer, like a massive medieval mace. This is a dinosaur best observed at a distance. Now, stay with me. This dinosaur is called a Carcharodontosaurus. Talk about a mouthful, right? And seeing that this animal is an alpha predator, its mouth is usually full of the slow, the weak, and the inattentive. <laughs> Hence the reason I'm not getting near it. You, on the other hand. The Compsognathus is a small predator, but don't let its stature fool you. It can be a ruthless hunter. This dinosaur, the Dilophosaurus, has a distinctive neck frill it can expand when it senses danger. It sees something spin into the eyes of its prey, blinding it before it goes in for the kill. Let me introduce you to the Metria Canthosaurus. Say that fast three times. This is another alpha predator that, while not as big as some of its cousins, tends to stand more upright. So I guess it has good posture while it's tearing you to shreds. This is a Cryolophosaurus, one of the more common It's a carnivore, so take the necessary precautions and don't let its looks deceive you. People often confuse this animal, the Giganotosaurus, with the T-Rex. They look similar, act similar, and both have that eat everything within their field of vision thing working for them. This dinosaur is also fast. Bottom line, if you find yourself running from this biggie, you've already made a fatal mistake. Okay, so this next dinosaur, the Parasaurolophus, has a flair for the dramatic, especially where its head is concerned. It has a distinctive cranial crest, which is used for added resonance in its vocalizations and to regulate its body temperature. It's dinosaurs like this, the Majungasaurus, that can really be a handful. It's short, stocky, and lives for the hunt. This is also one of the only dinosaurs we know of that may have engaged in cannibalistic behavior. Nothing like having your friends over for dinner. Now what we have here is a Herrerasaurus. It's a carnivore and a spectacular addition to our dinosaurs. It just requires a little TLC. You successfully introduced a new dinosaur, a Proceratosaurus. This animal is instantly recognizable by the colorful crest on its snout. While smaller in stature than some of the other predators, it is not a dinosaur to be taken lightly, let me tell you. This is the Sticky Moloch, and it is one hard-headed dinosaur. It has an armadome crowned by horns. Despite this, it's a social and relatively docile animal, unless threatened. Then steer well clear of it. This dinosaur can do a number on its enclosures and bash its way through any number of obstacles. Take that into consideration when you're planning its environment. Asset transportation underway. What can I say? The Indominus Rex remains my most inspired creation. Nature can create a dinosaur, but only I can bring an Indominus Rex to life. To do so required a tremendous amount of research, gene mixing, splicing and manipulation, and 
of course, determination. The end result is a hybrid dinosaur that is both beautiful and deadly. An alpha predator among alpha predators. So treat it with the care and respect it deserves. The Changesaurus. Neat. Really great that we're bringing back all these fast, hungry predators. Even better that I get to stay in the office with locks on the doors. <laughs> Before I got into the paleo creation game, even I knew of the Stegosaurus. Those plates running along its length from head to tail make it one of the most iconic dinosaurs. Our guests are gonna want to see it, so make sure you do right by this animal. Do I want the dinosaurs to fight? No. But do they want to fight? For some, it is what they were born for what they live for and what they're willing to die for. That is a purity that few humans have. This one's more my speed. The Aranosaurus is named after the Arabic word for courage, which is kind of my thing. This dinosaur is easy to care for and really only wants a comfortable place to eat and rest and to be left alone. <laughs> Sound like anyone you know? Those lacerations are not only going to be incredibly painful, but have the potential to lead to issues further down the line. Let's see if we can get those treated sooner rather than later. Internal trauma is very unpredictable. We don't know the extent of what we're dealing with at the moment. Step one, get an accurate assessment of the injury, and then we can treat this dinosaur.
towards it. Transit has commenced.
offset transit. Assets in the air. Asset transportation underway. Asset requiring collection. Acknowledging asset collection request. Transportation underway. Heading to pick up the asset. En route to collect the asset. Picking up asset. Transit has commenced. Asset has been collected. Transportation in progress. Asset transit.
The MVU scan confirms what I thought. This dinosaur has a broken claw. It shouldn't be anything to get too worried about, but it could get worse. Maybe even in grown, which would be painful. So, let's keep an eye on it. requiring collection. transit. transportation underway.
heading to collect the asset. Transit has commenced. 